Hello, I'm Entrylissima, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Fascist France. I wasn't as Vichy France. Um, so, we're currently uh, supporting the fascist, sorry, the nationalist Spain in the Civil War. Nationalist Spain is doing fairly well, mainly because of our intervention, or at least I'd like to think so. Uh, we managed to encircle some of the forces here and here, pushing them back here and here. Hopefully we can join up with these two over here, but I don't feel they're going to last very long. We've got Madrid. Uh, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, and I've been constantly debating whether we should change our civilian economy over to a war economy, where we should just hold out and instead secure us some Iraq. I honestly have to say I'm very tempted to secure ourselves some Iraq. Do it. Now, I will want to send over an army. Uh, by the time it's done, though, we should have confirmation about whether we can join the Axis or not. Please, Germany. Please let us join. We're cool. We army. Yeah, they're getting pushed back. Massively. How are you doing? Yeah, we're finishing the encirclement. You're, yeah, you're just surrounded and going down. There's only one troop there. Join in with the fighting. We should get multiple, yep, directions. By the way, I'm not sure where National Spain got all its aircraft from, but they seem to consistently have air superiority. So check, let's find out. No, there's not even any fighters actually in the area. Oh well. Oh, hello, they're trying to... Whoa, no, 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 no. No. No pushing out. We're going to hold you in place by attacking you. Right. Take him down. How's it going over here? Winning. Now, let's double check a rack. Hasn't been guaranteed yet. Looking at, like, the normal people who get guaranteed by places like the UK. No one's been guaranteed. Now, what allied countries will do is start guaranteeing countries. Now, each guarantee increases uh, political costs. So, the first one costs, like, 10, then 15, then 25, or something like that. I think, actually, the first one's 15, but you get the point. They start increasing in cost. Uh, and it decreases the world tension every time they do it. So, they don't want to do it too often because it can get very expensive. I'm going to let you... Whoa, no, 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 no. Ooh. Philippe Petain questions Iraqi sovereignty. Who determines the borders of a nation and how are they determined? Whatever way people may have found in the past justify where Vichy France ends and Iraq begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated and well within our rights to shift it and see the continued security of our people. Listening to Philippe Petain's recent speeches, an invasion of Iraq appears imminent. The sending voices have objected, but public support for war is on the rise. As it should be. Right, we've got to stop these from breaking out, so um, fighting it is. And I am going to... I'm going to have to leave someone on that border. So I believe... You are going to have to come down here. To that naval base. And over here. And then invasion of Iraq it is. I'm going to move you away for the time being. Just so that you can uh, not get caught. so I can cancel all your standing orders. How are we doing over here? I'm starting to win. They're, they're very much degraded. If you actually have a look at them, you can see that they've lost a lot of their organization and strength. Amelian Earhart, so now it's a globe, the famous aviator, Amelian Earhart. Almost uh, known to many as Queen of the Air, is completely to fly around the world together with her navigator, Fred Noonan. After a brief scare when the pair temporarily lost uh, while approaching Howland Island in the Pacific, the flight proceeded without incident and the morning there, Lockheed Electra touched down in Oakland, California. 
The ceremony is to be held in the White House next week, where Earhart is to be personally congratulated on a seat by the President. What did you do? I love all this sort of history and all history stuff. I'm just gonna overpower them. Alright, how are you doing over here? Yeah, it looks like uh, Nash of Spain's really winning out there. How's that army doing? It's transporting slowly. Notice our convoys are being used for transferring troops now. Oh! Germany proposed that we sign a pact recognizing the aim of the Communist International, known as Comintern, is to disintegrate and subdue existing states by all means at its command. Convinced that the toleration of interference by the Communist International is the internal affairs of nations not only endangers the internal, uh, internal peace and social well-being, but also a menace to the peace of the world, Desi desirous of cooperating in the defense against... Okay, so basically you can join the anti comitern Pact. And... Soviet Union hates us. Germany loves us or refuse. And Germany dislikes... I'm, obviously I'm going to join. I want Germany to like me. Germany, love me. Notice me, Germany! Join. Which is going to be good because we're literally about to ask Germany if we can uh, join their faction. So it's good that they like us. Actually, they would let us join the faction, like, right now. Oh, well, we'll let the event finish. And it looks like we're going to overrun you. We've got no territory to fall back to. Ah, oh, beautiful. There we go. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, a front line. And I'm just going to say generally go whatever they say. I actually have no specific orders. I'm just going to let you sit on the front line and help out. Now, we also need to start up a new theatre. This is going to be the Middle East. So, new theatre... No guarantees yet. Join Germany. Right, military factories. Definitely want to get that started. Come on, Germany. Love me. Love me. Come on. Vichy, France joins the Axis. German, uh, sorry. European politics were turned on its head today as French and German diplomats announced a military pact between Vichy France and the German Reich. They announced that too much blood has been spilt on their borders where other forces out there seeking their destruction. The German Reich encouraged everyone to consider what it means that rather than weakening themselves against each other, the old enemies will grow even stronger together. Nothing can threaten the Axis. As well it shouldn't. Okay, how are we doing? Oop. 21st of January next year. Okay. So get on the border. And the first offensive is to drive a wedge like that. Then the second offensive be to take Baghdad like that and then split their country in two. Actually, that, mm, that's wrong. This should be coming off of that second one. How do I do this? Uh, there is a way. Right click and hold the mouse button on the map to draw into the line. It's going to be painted only on territory you've assigned. Um, 
as a way to do one after the other. That looks like it's doing one after the other. Yeah, there we go. That's definitely one after the other now. And then... Right, no divisions assigned. So right, it's going to send 24 divisions to here, then all 24 are going to split this way. So if I select half current divisions, then control click here, there we go. So that should send 24, 12, right, that should in theory work. You're a bit iffy about your plan. We are stronger. Large river crossing, division still preparing, inferior enemy. Okay. Now, one thing they will need is they'll need some support. Now, our, our benefit is that we have no other wars going on. So we can send everyone over there. Now, what air bases do we have? We've got an air base here. Can take 200 airplanes and another here that can take 1,000. Uh, let's send, ooh, fighters here. It's 200 fighters. Let's send our tactical bombers. Can I set multiple? I don't think I can. It just takes me to them. No. Okay, well, we'll send you to Lebanon. And these are going to be the ones that can provide some support. Those fighters are currently stationed aboard a carrier, so those naval bombers. Um, and we'll get some of our own fighters as well. So the idea is that 200 of fighters will go here. Actually, what is the air region? Is it just Middle East? Yeah, it's just Middle East. So we should be able to defend and attack at the same units in the same place. Bad supply. Uh, they've got a chance of losing equipment and stuff, just because they're kind of up here on the edge. It's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's because the infrastructure is only two. Okay. I could send you more support. I'm not sure if we really desperately need it. How is our recruiting going? Ugh. So slow. We need those more factories, like, soonish. There we go. Support weapons. That's going to be appreciated. Point three is ahead of time. It's not massive. And it does open up this a little while. Although I think it's probably like the tech we get after the next tech. What about air? What we got? Way too far ahead. Yeah, all these are way too far ahead at the moment. Mm. This is okay. Doesn't focus very much on tanks, but sure. That said, the time to reset is still crazy. I think we stick with something a little bit simpler. Like interwar artillery. The benefit of this is it buffs all our existing artillery without having to change anything. It's great for pushing through. Ooh, I can modify government. I can't really declare another war right now, so I'm going to just stick with modifying the government to war economy. Should massively improve our production. We're up to 52 factories now.
Okay. Going pretty well so far over here. Kind of feel that maybe I should take some direct action as well. Get my four units just, you know, putting their weight. Oh, they've lost their port. They've been kicked out. Why are they not in Barcelona? Is it just like a not, not a naval port? It's just a general port thing? Oh, Japan has declared war on Shaxi. Shanzi, you are probably going to go down. Sorry about this. Oh, Japan, do you start as a member of the Axis? Uh, no, you do not. And Japan declared war on China. There we go. Well, it's all going to kick off over there. Now, I might want to consider, since we're probably going to be friends with Japan, getting ourselves a strong, um, like, army in the area so we can try and grab something or just hold on to what we've got. Because this is where our rubber comes from. I want to try and hold on to our rubber supply. We need rubber. How's manpower doing? Yeah, fine for the moment. We haven't really used any. Military factories. Oh, dear God, thank you. That'll help. Extra research slot. Straight away, Yes. This is part of the reason I was going down that tree. Extra research slot. So important. That's like plus 25 speed to our research straight up. So good. Definitely going for that. Let's check on Iraq again. There we go. Independence of Iraq is guaranteed by the UK. It was to be expected. The UK were going to do it. It's unfortunate. But there we go. So we could kick off early. I don't really want to kick the Second World War off this early though. So I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and do something against... Belgium. I don't care about Central Congo. I need 51 political power. Okay, what about this? 38. Right. If we go up against Belgium then, we will need... Oh, God. Oh. Where did my cursor go? Hello, cursor. Come back. Come back. To open up a new theater. This is going to be Africa. Uh, you are Africa. Now, these are our colonial divisions, so they get the last of all our equipment, etc. Why have I got French Theatre 1? Europe, Middle East, French Theatre 1. Oh, yes. Because this is what I renamed. And that's not. That's actually our volunteer forces in Spain. Whoopsie. Spanish Expeditionary Force. Okay. So since they're colonial, uh, they tend to be worse units we have. But they'll probably do for our purposes. So I would like you to frontline against Belgium. And let's add you to it. Frontline as well. And we'll put a commander in charge. We're going to field marshals. I can get a new one for 30 political power, but I kind of want that political power. Um, we're going to go with you, the worst field marshal we have. Sorry, it's true. Then if we go back to Europe. Bin your old orders. Your new front line is Belgium. And let's extend that. Luxembourg as well. I need to edit. Oh, maybe I can't do it. Because it's, ah, it's two different countries, so yeah. Right. Then your offensive line will just be a case of just grab everything. Actually, no. Grab everything, and then we can circle around and then get them. Okay. 
Nope. Nope. I want to go from the other one. How do I go from this one? You know what? Just bin. Uh, we can probably just order it afterwards. So yeah. They all head to there. Then we can figure this one out. We want to start justifying it. It's you. Conquer. And we've got five more political power needed. Where's Stanleyville and Leopoldville? I'm guessing they're down here. Stanleyville, Central Congo, Leopoldville, yeah. I believe that is enough. get ourselves justifying that right now. Uh, other things to consider. Bring our fighters back so that we can do this because we're not going to be doing Iraq anytime soon because the UK is going to get involved. As soon as we are in war against the UK, we go on Iraq immediately. Um, but we need our stuff to support our war over here. Uh, possibly going against Switzerland at some point. We'll have to see. Depends what the UK does. But I don't want to kill off the war too early right now, because uh, I don't really have much in the way of forces. I still actually haven't built any, because unfortunately, we haven't had any equipment. You can see we're now getting up to speed, since we've just added a few more. Uh, we still need so many guns. Seriously. So many guns. Probably actually going to have to upgrade that to there. We need more fighters. We need, we need many, many more things. Um, in in fact, we need so many more things, I'm actually going to build a few military factories. For right now. And that is going to have to do. But for now, I've been at Elysium. If you have enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We moved our way into uh, actually thinking about offensive actions, even if they have been somewhat stimmied on a world stage. But that is to be expected, unfortunately. But we can always go on the action later on. The important part of having a strong position for France going into it. If you like, though, please remember to like. My voice is dying, so uh, I'll cut this short. Like, subscribe, consider subscribing. And if you, you know, want to comment down below, let me know all the feedbacks and stuff. Until next time, uh, stay shiny.